I'll show you my new homemade solar filter. As you will notice in the video, I have a sheet of Beda solar filter. I already made my solar filter using a 4 inches PVC cap fitting. I painted it in black to avoid any reflections or glare when viewing the sun. Here are some of the basic tools I'll need for this project. I will use the tools shown in the video which will come in very handy. You will need a portable drill, a school compass for circle drawing on a piece of cardboard. You will also need a two and a half inch diameter hole saw which will be attached to the drill to cut out the hole on the four inches PVC cap fitting. A pair of scissors for cutting the cardboard, a measuring tape, hammer, nail and a utility knife. Here are the items needed to complete the solar filter. A sheet of beta solar filter. A 4 inches PVC cap fitting. A tube of silicone. A tin of black paint and a piece of cardboard. First you measure the outside of the 4 inches PVC fitting and get the diameter. Once the measurement is determined you can now split the measurement in half, that is the radius. Then mark the center of the 4 inches PVC fitting taking the measurements at different points around the fitting. Once the center of the fitting is determined, then you can take a nail and slightly tap the center spot using a hammer. The little dimple made will provide a dead on spot for the drill to make the two and a half inch diameter hole. We now measure the inside of the four inches PVC fitting to determine the size of the cardboard and the solar filter. Once the measurement is found you can take the school compass and draw a circle on the cardboard. We then resize the compass to match the two and a half inch hole and draw another smaller circle. Taking the pair of scissors you will now cut the outer part of the cardboard to make a circle. Afterwards you will now use the utility knife to cut out the inner circle from the same cardboard. When you're finished, dry fit the cutout into the PVC fitting to see if it fits. Once you're satisfied with your cutout you will now go to the PVC fitting and cut out the two and a half inch hole using the portable drill and hole saw. Now take the cardboard you cut out earlier and place it on a part of the Bader solar filter. Using the utility knife cut out the Bader solar filter to match the outer diameter of the cardboard. Place the solar filter away for now, try your best not to stretch the solar filter. When all is finished you will take the black spray paint and spray the PVC fitting inside out. Then you will spray one side of the cardboard you cut out earlier. Let it dry for at least one hour before applying another coat of paint. Now we are ready to assemble everything together. Apply a thin strip of silicone inside of the PVC fitting. Take the solar filter you had cut out earlier and place it into the PVC fitting. Make sure it is resting perfectly at the bottom of the fitting. Now rest the cutout cardboard onto the solar filter. Apply a strip of silicone around the outer edges of the cardboard. Take your finger and slightly apply a small amount of pressure to the silicone. With a wiping motion let the silicone seal the outer edges of the cardboard. When you are finished, take a paper towel and wipe off the excess silicone from your finger. Inspect your solar filter and see if it's done the way you want it to look. Once satisfied let it dry for at least 4 hours in a cool dry place away from dust. Here I have fitted the solar filter onto my telescope. I can now enjoy viewing the sun any time of the day at my pleasure. If this video was helpful please give a thumbs up and make a kind comment. Thanks for viewing and please subscribe to my videos.